Today we are playing Turtle Tailgate Schmup Pew Pew Bang Bang Treasure Diver Kikeo Air Battle Commander Orange Shooter The First Galoopadoop Invasion Galaxis Space Lemon Star Sucker Shaman Down and Warwind. Hi everybody, welcome to uh, LaserDefs Academy. Welcome to the basic shmup showcase. Yes, indeed, basic shmup showcase is over. If you haven't noticed, uh, we just finished the basic shmup tutorials a month ago or so. And then afterwards I said like, there's gonna be a basic shmup showcase, it's kind of like a game jam where you can make a game based on a tutorial and submit it. And a lot of people, a lot of people did. A lot more people did, did than I thought. I was thinking like, okay, it, it would be really great if we had like 10 games to play, you know? That would be really fun if we had like 10 games. 10, 10 sounds like a good thing. I thought like, I didn't have any specific expectation, but I thought like, man, if it was less than three, then I would really question, you know, why I'm even doing this. But yeah, I, with the 10 I would, would be okay. It's 53! Holy crap! Now I kind of almost, almost regret that I said I'm gonna play all of them. <laughs> Not because I don't want to play them, I do want to play them, but also like, it's gonna be to take a while to play them all. And and I really want to give every game, you know, the attention it deserves, you know. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be difficult. I probably split this video in like <laughs> four part series just to play all of those games. Amazing, amazing. Thank you everybody who participated. This has been a blast to watch. The community really like came together. It was really great to watch the people in Discord, you know, sharing new versions and, and, and problems with each other and, and giving each other advice. It was really fantastic. Um, also, I have to apologize. I haven't been really participating that much, you know, I haven't been in the, in the, in the trenches as much as I hoped, because as you can see, I'm a completely new place now. I'm in Germany now. I moved countries. We were looking for a new flat. We were living on a couch for two months. Uh, we now arrive at our house, but our house is still very blank. We just have a whole bunch of boxes. And so every room that we have has crazy reverb because we have no furniture. And I think this room I'm in here right now, this is our kitchen. And I think weirdly enough, this has the least reverb. So I apologize for the sound. I apologize for the weird background. There's some artwork by my daughter. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do today. That's what we have to work with. Now, before we begin, I wanted to clarify something because I made some, I actually did some stats. Now, I want to establish something very, very important, a base understanding of what is happening here. Because I will be playing those games and I will say some things about the games. Some of the things I will say will be a bit more critical, right? And as soon as you start criticizing things, emotions flare up, you know, people start defending and so forth and all sorts of bad things happen. So let me start off by saying that I have proof that these games are, all of them are incredible. They are wonders. Let me tell you how I know. So at the time of the recording, the first episode that I published of the tutorial, 11,628 people watched that first episode. The final episode of the tutorial, 2,700 people watched that episode, okay? So we already have a massive drop from the first episode to the final episode, okay? 93 people joined the showcase, right? 53 people actually submitted a game. So if you submitted the game to the showcase, you are basically the top 0.4% of the people participating in the tutorial, right? This is one of... This is the cream of the crop in general. Just making a game is so difficult. It doesn't even matter what kind of game it is. Just making a game is so rare. It's so difficult to get through the process. So many people fail along the line. Somewhere along the line, they get out. It's too much work. They overestimate the work. They get distracted with other things. Things happen in their life. I'm not gonna blame you for, for getting out. I, I understand very much how this works. Uh, but also that means I cherish and celebrate all of the people that got through this process. You are awesome if you submitted a game to the showcase. 
So what we're gonna do is gonna nitpick a little bit the cream of the crop, right? Like those people who are who, who are here, they done a lot of things right, right? And we gotta start like look, yeah, maybe there's some things that that they could have done a tiny little bit better. But although otherwise, already a lot of things are ha that are happening are wonderful and good. So I want to get this out of the out of the way before we begin. Now I took the list of the games and sorted them a little bit. I throw them into a randomizer, so I will play through the games in a random order. Now I will admit that there is some games I heard about that I know are especially juicy, and I didn't want all those games to end up in one video, so the video is going to get really really long. So I decided to spread them apart a little bit. There are four juicy games that I spread apart into the different episodes that I think are going to be juicy. I most of the games I never actually played. I saw most of them just once or so, but I never actually played them for a long time. I especially kept myself like spoiler free for this video, okay? <laughs> so without any further ado, let's go. All right, so the first game what we have here is Turtle Tailgate, and it's just so happened to be one of the very first submissions. It actually got submitted very, very early in uh, in the in the game jam, so I was like, oh, very excited to see it. And it came out, out of nowhere because I haven't seen it discussed too much in the uh, in, in the Discord, I'm not really sure. It's by apparently by Professor Panto, Panto, Pantonildo. <laughs> Pantonildo, all right. Um, I really like the, um, already off the bat, I really like the Itch website here because it has really, really nice big controls, really nice manual, a lot of animated GIFs, that's really good. Even tips and tricks section, that's really nice. Uh, and yeah, credit section, really, really, really cool. Also, uh, here, the um, Creative Commons uh, license has become quite important re in the recent times because we had some NFT shenanigans happening and you want to really specify what license you're releasing things under that uh, people don't monetize it. Okay, let's get started. Oh, uh, I have to also admit, I because it was submitted so early, I played it a little bit already, so I'm not completely... I'm not completely spoiler free on this one. Winners fight for the environment. Professor Pantonildo Games. I'm using a, a controller to play those games, just so you know. Tailgate Turtles to score. Okay, there's a high score. As I said, already played it a little bit. So I'm fish, and I can move left and right. I can switch between three different lanes here. And uh, I'm supposed to dodge all of the all of the bad guys. And if I stay in a lane longer, now then you can see there's a multiplier up there going up. And I get points quicker, I guess. I'm not sure, yeah. See, I, I'm not getting points at all unless I stay in a lane for longer. But staying in a lane is kind of like difficult because there's like the turtles, right? Can I, if I press a button, does something happen? No, nothing happens. Can I press down? No. Ah, gosh, the turtles! Ah! I didn't know what to do. Let's try again. Also, the music, the soundtrack is from it's the soundtrack from Pulp Fiction. Why is the soundtrack from Pulp Fiction? I don't understand. I don't understand. Professor Pendadillo, let me know. Why is, why is it Pulp Fiction? I don't understand. Oh, it's not how long you stay in the lane, I think. I think you have to be close to the turtles. That's, you know, I guess it makes sense. You have to take the turtles. Interesting. Oh, there's a heart. I need the heart. Uh, so I have to wait until the last moment before I avoid the turtles. Gotcha! Oh, I figured the game out, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby! It seems like the levels are mainly random generated. That's a really good rendition of that, of that song too. <laughs> it's a, such a such an earworm. So what happens if I pick? Oh, I can have four hearts. Oh, that's good. Ah! 
Is, are there more enemies appearing over time? I wonder. Ah, oh, Jesus, I didn't want to do that. Ah! Oh man. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh man, I'm super concentrated right now. I'm in the in the in the zone. Ah! <laughs> Eight thousand one hundred thirteen is my score. Okay, so I'm not gonna continue playing this because I'm assuming that's like an endless game and it's all about getting high score. If there's like a final boss or something that I missed out on, you have to guys have to let me know. But what a lovely game to start our journey with. Wow, what a surprise. I don't mind at all that this is not technically a shmup, right? You're not really shooting, not really shooting things down. I don't mind this at all. I think that's okay. It's okay to experiment with a formula and like, like an avoider, so to speak, like an avoider kind of game is kind of totally in the same ballpark as a shmup. That's okay. I love the attention to detail that was put into the theme. I love the, that the theme is also not like, you know, mili mili militaristic, that is kind of like this ecological kind of like, you know, um, um, nature kind of theme. That's really nice, very cute, uh, very, very kid friendly. I would definitely let my daughter play this. The music s surprises me. <laughs> I don't know why the music, I, that's, that's not the kind of music I, I mean, it sounds a little bit like a surfer music, I guess. So maybe maybe that's the those was the idea here, but but it's it <laughs> because it's perfect. It kind of like really f um, confused me. No, but there's like a lot of um, uh, effects that I really liked. The scoring system is cool. Like it, it has some some uh, uh, there's there's a finesse to to this as well. I really liked it. Um, some things I would would consider is first of all um, when you're getting points, I think the feedback is not quite as immediate. You don't really know when you start getting the points. You have to look in a corner. Something changes. It would be nice if the fish itself would maybe would, would change something about the fish. That would be nice. Also, I'm not really sold on the lane thing that you switch between lanes. I don't know. It's it feels like if you have the freedom of movement, it's it's um, adds more depth to the game and just switching between three lanes that seems a bit impoverishes your capabilities. Although the fact the, that the fish is um, animated between the different lanes also adds back in some complexity. So I like that. Also something that I'm missing is here, whenever you have like something that's repeating endlessly, it's, I think it's a good idea to add maybe something that changes the rhythm of the game. Um, I'm not, not sure if tailgating accelerated the game or if the game accelerated by its own and, or if it was the same speed. It seemed like it was going faster at some points. But it would be nice if there was, for example, a pickup that would make everything go very fast or or change the rules suddenly somehow. Like um, the way, for example, in Super Mario, when you pick up the star, suddenly the rules of the game change. Suddenly you are invincible, so and you have to go very quickly now um, because to exploit the fact that you are invincible. So I think thinking of how to change up the rhythm, how to have something that uh, periodically changes the rhythm of the game, I think that would be a good idea to add some additional polish. But otherwise, this is a fantastic game, especially for a game gym like this, having something like this, this is amazing. I love this. And also with the, with the website, look at this. This is, ah, uh, set the bar very high from the get-go. Oof. Now, our next game is called Shmup. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I am not in love with that title. I th think one more, one more iteration on the name would have been would have been helpful. I think Schmup is a bit too broad of a name. It's like calling a racing game racing game. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a bit. Uh, mm, if. I think that it should have been a bit more specific, but maybe the game is great. Let's see. I This is actually one I never played before. So this is my genuine first early impressions. Off the bat, I love the website. The website is really nice. Really nice, beautiful um, uh, pixelated GIF in the background, scrolling all co constantly, beautiful. Um, very useful information. Controls are big, uh, big GIFs and everything, how to play. Some thoughts here that I'm going to, I'm going to, read through in a second here, but first I'm going to just play through the game. Okay, there's Wave and Arcade. Uh, I don't know. Let's go Wave. Wave 1, okay. 
This seems familiar. Oh yeah, woohoo! Yellow freaks! Oh man, kill! Ah, kill! What, oh, okay, so, ah! I wasn't sure what the pickup was. Okay, so we now we have dark freaks. Oh yeah, oh, ooh, now bullets are going diagonally. Yes, wave three. What is B6? Oh, Jeebus. What is B6? I, I still don't know. I'm so oh, what? Oh, oh, these are these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah I hate them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I invented them. <laughs> ah, fudge. Oh, look at that flaming effect on the game over. <laughs> Let's try it again. Is it just me? Or is the whole screen moving? Huh? Oh, look, this. the screen is moving when you go left and right. That's fun. Baby! Oh, the B is the, the upgrades. Okay, got it. Oh, it's the bomb! It's the cherry bomb! It's on the second button. I didn't press the second button. Okay, got to watch out on the yellow freaks. Uh, not the yellow freaks, the, the white freaks. Because they're coming for my money. Easy peasy for breezy. Oh! It's the boss! It's the boss! Yeah! Oh! It's the boss and other things at the same time! Oh my gosh! All right, got that bad boy out of the way. Oh, Jeebus! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa. A lot of whitey guys. Oh, G. That wasn't as effective as I thought it would be. Get me the heart, get me the heart. Okay, got it. No problemo. Wave seven. That's a lot of white guys. What guy? The white, I love how the white guys spin. That's such a nice animation. Ah! It's interesting that when you hit them, you you push them back. I think that's cool. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Need to concentrate now. Need to concentrate. I think I think we might be we might be approaching the end of the game. Okay. Ah, oh, it's the UFO. Oh, look at its face. It's so cute. Oh yeah, it's doing the attack. I can tell. But I'm prepared. Uh oh, the attack is coming closer. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a that's a nice attack pattern there. And then comes the comes the fountain. Haha! <laughs> oh Jeebus! Oh last last life. Last life. The final attempt. The final attempt. I want to see the ending. I want to see the ending. Oh, no. How much life does it have? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Woo. Oh, wow. That's nice flashing as well. You won. Press, press the key to it. Okay. So I want to see what arcade is about. It's just like, oh, interesting. 
increase bullet damage, increase fire rate, increase speed. Give me fire rate. Bam. Ooh, interesting. I like that. Uh, give me more fire rate. Yeah, baby! Okay, what happens if I increase bullet damage? Is it just random now? Ooh. Use X for... Okay, this gives me a bomb. Slow time. Oh, I can have dash. That's cool. Yeah, oh. What? You get OP for a few seconds. I want that. Baby, I'm OP! <laughs> Nerve this! Uh, yes, more XP, please. Always, always pick more XP. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah! Last heart, last heart. Ooh, what? New enemies. What? Ah! Oh, spread shot enemies, what? Bullet explodes. <gasps> Bullets this enemy of some fire. Easy mode. Really? It's easy mode? Oh man, exploding? I uh, gotta go with exploding. Yes! <laughs> Boom, baby! Uh, plus one life. Now! Ah, game over. <laughs> New high score, that's right, baby. 268. Perfect. All right, so this game underwhelmed me with its name, but it won me over through the gameplay. It's kind of amazing. It's two games in one, so you have like the classic uh, tutorial kind of shmup in the, in the wave mode, and then you have like an endless roguelike arcade mode kind of thing where you can up keep upgrading yourself in an arcade version that's pretty good there was a lot of creativity at display here all of the enemies are completely different new animations some of the uh, attacks work differently as well and in arcade mode there's lots of upgrades and additional weaponry and stuff like that that i really liked honestly i don't really even have that many nitpicks here guy i think this is a really, really this is a huge package right you get like two games for the price of one game and it's free already <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know what, what I would add here. I think this is just already pretty good. Uh, something maybe that I was missing is there was when I won the game, I, I didn't, it didn't feel like this amazing victory because there was no music. I think I would maybe add a little bit of a jingle there. Also, I felt um, the pickups, I, I felt the, um, the graphic for the pickups is a little bit bland. It, it's, I wasn't really even sure if that was a pickup and until I was kind of expecting it to be a pickup because it was moving very slow. Um, but I think it would be interesting to come up with something that is uh, recognizable as a pickup. But no, this is this is a fantastic, fantastic game. And I actually already in the between there, I read through um, through uh, uh, my thoughts on this game uh, part here. This is really interesting because this gives you a bit of some insight on a, on how the game was created and what the game developer thought and struggled with. So I think this is something that is really interesting. Yeah, good job. Okay, our next game is Pew Pew Bang Bang Don't Stop Shooting. Well, that's a, that's definitely a more descriptive title. <laughs> it's by K33. I think I saw this uh, little bit posted in a Discord. So let's see how that actually plays. It might, I might have actually played an earlier version of it. Let's see. Oh, check out this start screen. Woohoo! There's a lot happening here. Catch 33. Warning, warning, warning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. 
Oh, I can already know what... Oh, there's pizza? No way! Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was this game where, <laughs> where, where enemies were saying things, but you only shot them. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Oh, it's still the enemies from, from the shmup, from the tutorial. Yeah, it's so good. That's the, the sound effects, the music that playing. Oh, Jesus! It's, it's my... I've been hoisted by my own petard. This, the very same enemy that I, I invented is actually causing me distress. <laughs> get the pizza. What is the pizza doing? Is that something? Is that the equivalent to the cherry? Can I? Can, do I have a bomb? I do have the bomb. Ha <laughs> ha, baby! Ah oh, yes. For so, somehow I could have. Oh man, this is this is. Ooh, Better watch out. Okay, now now comes comes the. Ah oh, jeez. Ah. Uh... Okay, okay. Wave number six. I'm doing fine. I'm fine. I'm just fine. I'm peachy. I'm thriving. So so, so weird how um, sideways... Let's get the bullets. What, what does it do? I pick it up, but it doesn't cha change my... It says three, so I guess something is upgraded. Is boom. Is, is that the bomb? Oh yeah, there's bomb. Oh, okay, it's the level of the bomb, I guess. Oh man. Or already. Let's let's get. Uh... I have to concentrate so much, I, I, I lost my ability to speak. Yes! <laughs> I have to say the enemy saying things is DANG! Said the enemy as, as, as I, I killed him. DANG, boy! Oh, see, I had double shots, right? I don't know how that works. Oh, that, here comes the bad boy. Holy crap. What? Oh, man, that's not good. Oh, what? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you have the final boss and enemies in the same? Oh, I'm going to try it again. All right, all right. Oh, gosh, I got hit again. Oh, now comes the... Boss again. Okay, defeated this guy. There's enemies on the ground. Oh, what? Why is he already attacked? I had many attempts to get there again, but um, it seems like my first run was actually really lucky that I got to the final boss. And in my uh, in the subsequent attempts that I had, I always uh, quite often died. In between them, it's difficult to get to the final boss. And when you're the final boss, the final boss is really punishing. The fact that you have like uh, enemies that you have to deal with and the boss as well and then the boss also seems to be uh, changing the attacks very rapidly it's just a lot to, to keep track visually on your in, in the screen at the same time there's a lot of things happening at the same time and it overwhelms you just like that i it's it is an amazing game it is uh, i really love that uh, that it has its own identity because just because of the the, <laughs> the screen has been turned by 90 degrees that is a sideways shmup um uh, it is very difficult because of the spot sideways stuff because it just doesn't quite work the way I expect I expect it to be. I um, was under the impression that you could upgrade your shot, but I uh, you can't. It's just like when you move your ship, sometimes there's it appears that there's two shots coming out of your ship, but it's not. Um, the power up system there is like so there's pizza that's one one ups, and then there is the bombs which can be upgraded from level zero to three. So that's kind of like a simplified uh, upgrade system. Very, very nice and, 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 and easy. Um, I have to say that the game has a lot of variants. So that's something I'm, I've been struggling with. Sometimes I would have two pizzas in one level, which would get me from zero lives, uh, from one life to back to three again. And sometimes I just would get, wouldn't get a pizza for like three levels. So um, 
yeah, like my ability to get through the game was really dependent on just the luck of getting the pizzas. And I'm not really sure if I knew how the pizzas were spawned. I, I didn't see a, a goal there. So that's something I would maybe work on maybe the pizza spawning every um, couple of levels or at least every level, at least one pizza or something, it's adding some rule to it. So there is, there is not quite, you're not quite as at the mercy of, of the RNG here. And yeah, I think the final boss is a bit punishing. I don't know. I would. It's fine maybe to introduce enemies, but maybe at a later stage when you're already are used to the boss, I, I feel like that's just a bit too much. That's just, oh, I would have to spend some time playing through this game to get, actually get through this. It seems like the strategy would maybe to get like collect level three bomb to get rid of the enemies, but ooh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, mm, it's tough. No, but seriously, K33 really clearly had a lot of fun with this game. Like there's a lot of like attention to details, some little flourishes that I really like. The start screen, you know, the the text popping up on the enemies was really funny when you when you get to pay attention to it. There's like um, planets in the background. There's just so many beautiful details. In some ways, I feel like this is an even more polished, even more richer version of the tutorial uh, shmup. But with its own unique identity, I love it. It's good. Now I will say that I think the itch website could use a bit more love. I don't I don't I'm not really that as I already said, I don't really like the pixel font on, on itch. Also the logo is a bit it looks a bit lifeless. And I think um the game is uh, quite a surprise compared to what how the website looks like. As you can see, there is even no no screenshots, there's just one screenshot, no animated gifts. Come on, guys, come on! The game is awesome and it deserves a more elaborate presentation. Oh boy, here we go. So this next game is called, did the website load completely? I'm not sure. I think it did. There's, it's called Treasure Diver. And I already seen some, uh, some animated GIFs of it. So I think we are in for a, quite a surprise. Let's go. Treasure Diver, press any key to start. I will. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Look at that. Oh man, look at that rope. Look at that rope. Dynamite. Dynamite fishing. What is this? 2000. Okay, whatever it is, I have 2000 of it. I don't, I, don't, I, I, I cannot, can I? No, I cannot. I got dynamite, but there's no dynamite. Oh, Jesus. Oh, now I have dynamite, right? There we go. Kaboom, baby! <laughs> oh yeah, fighting all the fish. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Why are we fighting the fish? That doesn't seem like such a nice thing to do. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh it, yeah, that's my life. Like my 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 face is my life indicator. I will say the, the shots are difficult to make out between the bubbles. It's it's just like a slightly different bubble that you... <laughs> so it's kind of difficult to, to see when the shot is coming. Oh, I have two bumps now. Oh, wow, look at that star. Okay, that star, those stars are crazy. Okay, level... Bam! Get, let's get some some of the bombing done. Let's get, let's get blasting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No. Oh, weird. I, I don't quite understand what picking up the dynamite means because sometimes you pick up the dynamite and you don't really get the dynamite. You only had the, the dynamite symbol at the bottom just changes color a little bit. I'm not sure why. So now I have dynamite. Now I have dynamite and a brown dynamite. All right, all right, all right. Oh man, I'm not doing so well, I have to say. I'm not doing well at all. Oh wow, <laughs> no problem. 
got two lives in a row. I'm back on my feet. Oh. Oh, it's Cthulhu! <laughs> it's Cthulhu! Oh, fudge! He slapped me! Oh, no! He slapped me! Oh, oh what? <laughs> I love this! This is amazing! I got slapped by Cthulhu himself! <laughs> Let's see if we can get it again. Mmm. God, what? Ah, uh, uh, oh man. Seriously, seriously. <laughs> ah! All right, I think I had plenty of attempts now. I've I've yet to see Hulu a second time. <laughs> I just, it's, it's one of those things when you do your first attempt, you make it all the way through and then you never make it that far. Again, one of those problems. Um, wow, this game has a lot going on. I'm, I'm kind of amazed. <clears throat> I, I love that it is, again, flipped around on, on its head. Now you're attacking downwards instead of upwards. That's a completely new ap uh, approach and it works really, really well, I think. Uh, there's a lot of like visual flourishes that I really love. I love the... Um, the the line coming from the top, the the breathing line, the snorkel, I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, and I just, just generally, I think the setting is really strong. Uh, the idea that you dive and fight fish, okay, whatever. <laughs> but then you use dynamite my fish, things for that. And then you get to Cthulhu at the end. I think this is just a beautiful little setting that's a, a very strong, um, strong theming on, on this game. I really love this. There are some gameplay things that I don't like. And one of those is... I think it has way too many bubbles. Um, I think the, the, this bubble effect makes it so that it's very difficult to see the shots or any kind of attack whatsoever. So if any enemy is attacking you or any shots coming at you, it takes like a good second until you see it. And by that point it's, it's over. And so I get constantly, I get hit by bullets multiple times because I just don't see them because there's so many bubbles happening. I think just toning down the bubbles is I think a high priority here because it's it really uh, impacts your way uh, your ability to play this game. It, it's the question is like, what what is the difficulty in dodging the bubbles? Is it the dodging, like getting out of the way quickly, or is it just seeing the the bullet? And I think when it's seeing the bullet, when it gets by hit by something that you don't see coming, I think that's more frustrating than seeing something coming but maybe not not getting out of the way quickly enough. So yeah, I think that's that's definitely a big big flaw here, uh, gameplay wise. That's something that really. Uh, dampered my, my my enjoyment of the game in generally because I really want to also get to the Cthulhu to kind of like learn the the, uh, the boss fight there a little bit because it seemed like an interesting boss fight but I just never got a second hand to Cthulhu. Also something that I, that I found weird is um, it has like an interestingly it has two pickup system that like in a previous game so instead of just one pickup like in Cherry Bomb there's two pickups one is for lives and the other one is for dynamite and it spams you with lives and you but you constantly lose lives as well so I don't know it just doesn't feel great. <laughs> That doesn't feel good. But something that's also funny is that when you get the bomb, you don't get the bomb. You have to collect like three bombs in order to get a bomb. So it's weird. And also there's like no um, no feedback on collecting a, a power-up. So you don't see, you, know, blah, 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 you don't even hear a sound effect when you collect a power-up sometimes. So uh, that, that feels a bit underbaked. That feels, it doesn't feel as rewarding to get a power-up. And even if you get the bomb, the bomb when you you sh the bomb is like you shoot the bomb and the bomb goes down and then explodes. But often the bomb's supposed to be like this get out of the bad situation quickly. Like if something is coming towards you and you you panic and you press the bomb to to reset the the, the game's uh, game state. And that's not what those bombs are. This not doesn't have to be really bad, but it just makes them less useful. And uh, then it sounds weird that that. They even toned down even more that you're not not getting that many uh, um, yeah, either way. So I don't know. That's something I would really look into. But otherwise, that is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic entry with beautiful graphics, with 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 a, with a, like a very very strong theme. I have seen nothing of this game, and it is a true surprise. Delightful. Oops, what happened there? Well, I guess it's. <laughs> I made a small break. My parents came to visit, but now we're back. So so far. 
we saw four games. Is that true? We saw four games. That's right. And so far, no doubts whatsoever. So let's move on to the next one. Next one we're going to look at is Kikeo by Smelly Fish Six. Now, Smelly Fish Six, a long time uh, 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 viewer. Do you say viewer? Listener, you would say it in a podcast, right? <laughs> a friend of the show, so to speak, uh, who is always hanging out in the uh, in the Discord. Uh, and I'm actually really eager to, to test this one. Now, I know for a fact, I know that this is true, that this is not really... Let me adjust the camera here a little bit. I know that this is not a finished game right now. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like work in progress kind of thing. But we're going to see... Uh, how far he got and what he has. Like Kikyo, press X to start, okay. That's an interesting font there. I wonder if you use the new custom font system for this. Bloop. Is that some kind of some, some kind of plant or something? <laughs> oh man, I love that transition. Oh man, this is <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh man, those shots look so nice. Yeah, so like this is it's a schnapp. Look out, two or four. Look out, three or four. Yeah, it seems to be like the custom font, right? Look out, four or four. Oh, down the bottom screen there's like a, a preview of of how how far along. We are. Where next? Oh, oh man! Look at this. It, 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 you can upgrade your ship along the way. Let's go here. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the controls are are difficult. And I think we're finished. Oh, that's it. That's all. That's all there is. Oh man! Let's try this again. So I. Oh man, there's. Oh, it's a bummer that it's not finished because there's. Oh, mm, it. It. There. It. I, I think the. It has like a really cool visual style. Um. And there's some really nice flourishes, like the fact um, how the shots look and, and how the enemies react, how they, there's a, squ a squish and stretch. That's so nice. And changing, and the sound effects work as well very, very nicely. I would say that mm, I'm not the biggest fan <laughs> of the controls here. Oh no, this is so bad. Because it's basically, uh, it's difficult to explain. So basically right now, I'm, you're kind of like driving a tank. So pressing up, is moving in the direction in which the tank is facing. And left and right is steering the tank. So this is very unusual. This is not what I expected. Then if you press this button, it turns into the schmuck, basically. Now if you hold this, it's a schmuck, but you cannot go up and down, which I found weird. Like pressing up and down does nothing. I would expect to be able to move up and down. I guess you can only move sideways. This is it. This is a bit odd, and and this control is weird. That that pressing up makes the tank go forward. That just makes no sense to me. Uh, I w uh, it's just oh, that it would make sense if uh, you know pressing left and right would turn the guy here, and then this would en enable schmap. That would be okay, or maybe just it's a schmap. But if you press a button, you can you can aim at different directions. I don't know. It just it just feels very unnatural. Ah, uh, see, <laughs> because it's so easy to um, to make a mod modal mistake. It's a mo um, or mode error mistake. So a mode error happens when you have a, a UI that works differently depending on which mode you are. It's easy to forget in which mode you are, and it's difficult to make your brain switch. Um, and a good example for this is you know when you have a car and it has ge uh, different gears. And it's, you know, most of the gears you're driving forward, but when you put in the reverse gear, suddenly all of the controls are switched and it, you have to be moving very slowly and carefully and think about what you're doing. Otherwise, it's, you're going to make an uh, accident, right? <laughs> so so I think it's like this because it's so easy to forget what you're, which boat are in and press the wrong button. And then suddenly the thing does things that you don't expect it to be doing. Oh man, too bad. I like it. It's very promising. There's especially a lot of visual flourishes that I really love. The only thing, it's, it's kind of hard to criticize it because it's kind of like very, very work in progress so far. Generally something I saw from uh, Smelly Fresh Six himself, and that's something that he also admitted himself he's, he's kind of struggling with, is that I think it has, it has a bit too much new stuff going on. I think if this was just a straight map with all the visual flourishes that I've seen here, I would have been already pretty happy. I really love, love the UI at the bottom, the progress bar at the bottom. I, I love the visual feedback 
from the from the from getting hit. These things would have been enough to make this an extraordinary shmup. I wouldn't need the weird controls and stuff like that. And I feel like th that was stuff that was invested into something that made the game maybe less palpable and not finished in the end. So just keeping it straight and just uh, relying on your abilities as a program and with all the visual flourishes to make the result shine, I think that might be a better strategy here. But otherwise, inspiring work, absolutely. All right, the next game we have here is Air Battle Commander by Once. <laughs> That's a really, that's a really great name because look at it. Follow once, view all by once. <laughs> I love it. Ah, oh, great, good. So let's see what's happening here. Air Battle Commander. Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. There is there is inertia. I already can tell there is inertia. Oh yeah, shooting now helicopters, die helicopters. Seems a bit. Um, Seems a bit, ooh. Uh, um, like, a, 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 anachronistic, and a, like, <laughs> helicopters were, are kind of like a kind of modern thing, but the planes looks like a, you know, like a biplane. Oh yeah, new wave coming up. Why there, was there a new wave coming up when I, there was still a, a helicopter? Oh, oh. Seems to be like I, I'm not allowed to shoot. There was some kind of overheating going on, but I, I thought it would be the... I wonder what is overheating. What is the display? What is the meter on the lower right? Oh, weird. Is that, is that the, how, how much I, I've killed of the wave? I'm not sure. I really love the islands in the background. It's a really cool way of, of, um, of making a level work. I, I oh man that overheating thing that where you where your gun only has so much uh, power is, is really uh, quite a quite a party pooper system. Oh oh there it, oh yeah okay now it's blinking so it, it means uh, the this this display at the bottom it means how far am I I am in the current wave. Oh now people are shooting at me what? Oh man, there's hearts and clouds. What? Kind of nice, nice bullets. <laughs> I like the kind of like the old school looking kind of bullets. Oh man, the enemies are so spongy. Take take so many hits. Makes me not want to want to shoot at them anymore. Ah, uh, come on! Like. <laughs> Even if I le let my gun cool off, so to speak, I, s I still don't have enough power. Or should I just do something like this? Does that, is that better? Ah, that, well, that doesn't help. It's kind of nice that when you fly through the clouds, the clouds uh, go away. That's kind of nice. You, you dissolve the clouds. All right, wave five out of ten. These are slow waves. Oh man, new enemies! I love it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh, oh gosh. There's a heart here. I'm gonna take the heart. Oh man, it's gonna explode. Ah, bad food. There was a heart. Oh, I love that they show me that where the hearts. Oh, what? There was a bomb in there. There's a heart there. Get the heart. Ah! I'm gonna get all the hearts. I'm not shooting at the bombs because I want to be able to. Oof. Ah! 
That's not good. How about... Uh, give me, give me a heart. Come on, give me a heart, baby. I, do I have to kill the bombs? Is that how I get through the, through the... Oh, jeez. Okay. One more bomb. Okay, got it. It went, I... Uh, why? Uh, oh, man, new enemies. Oh, <laughs> okay, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart, okay. Oh man, look at those enemies. Uh, okay, okay. Nothing happened. <gasps> oh my gosh! Buildings! Oh gosh! Oh, th these are Contra buildings. Oh, like the con Contra guns. Guns from the game Contra. Oh my gosh, how much, how much health do they have? Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Oh, I have to shoot down so many of them. <laughs> it's crazy! I've been shooting it such a long time, it, I just cannot shoot it down! Ah, so frustrating! Give me a way to shoot at the enemies, come on! <laughs> Send me a bow! It's, it's, rather, it's better not to shoot the enemies, but I have to get, right? I, otherwise I'm not getting through the, through the wave. So how do I do this? Oh man. Uh, okay. All right, I'm not gonna play more of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, actually you can continue from the last wave. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. So we can... Normal from the first wave, easy from the last wave. Let's try, let's try from the last wave. All right. All right, so we need to somehow find a way to shoot down those, those buildings. Okay, so it's better to let your weapon cool down uh, and do another strafe rather than just uh, keep shooting. Uh, let's, let's, I don't have enough time to shoot that down anymore. Oh man, very spongy enemies. That's I, I don't I don't like this kind of design. I just took that to the face. Okay, okay, let's get this one. Okay. Next one. Uh, Jesus! There is no invulnerability or what? I, I've been hit multiple times by the same strafe. Seems like there's no iframes. I'm I'm very intense right now. Okay. Wave eight from ten. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so now we have helicopters and and buildings, which is fine. Oh, it's interesting that sometimes enemies hide in the in the clouds. It's really good. Um, I have to say, the enemies are very varied, and you can feel that the different enemies. It's not like you know, you can feel that that the enemies behave differently and and are designed differently. So that's actually that's actually nice. Ah, oh, babies, killed again. Oh uh, yeah, let's try it again. All right. 
that's a new wave now. I just it was killed right after the game the wave was finished. All right, final boss. What's with the enemies and the boss together? Come on, guys! You believe in your boss. Okay, I guess I have to do the same thing. Is that all that the boss is gonna do? Oh no, okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Get the heart. I, I'm glad that there is a continuous system. What? It restarted me from scratch. Did I accidentally switch to the side? I, uh, maybe I pressed left or right. Okay, a couple of things that I, I noticed. First of all, um, I really love <laughs> I appreciate it. I, I really enjoy it when we have a shrub on here that doesn't have a star filled background. I mean, I, I made one myself. I know this was a tutorial showing you the stars and so forth, but it's good if somebody goes for something that looks different. And I that, that looks different. So I'm really happy about that. As I already said, um, you know, playing has really nice banking and so forth. Um, as I already said, um, enemies are very varied, there's different enemies and they all behave differently and they feel differently, so that's good, it's good, but that happens. And it's also interesting to see that this didn't have formations that we have, like we have in the Schwab, but um, this has like, this looks, this feels more like a real Schmap, you know, like a more modern Schmap. I also like the, the islands in the backgrounds, everything, that, that works really, really good. Some things in, in terms of gameplay that I didn't like. One is that the, the game has inertia, uh, so like when you, Keep pressing one direction, the plane continues flying in one direction. That's not good. A lot of Schmap players hate that and will reject your game outright be just because of that. And I understand why. Another thing that I didn't like is that um, the decision to make this game centered all around this overheating mechanic here, apparently that's happening, where if you press the button, keep the button pressed, you get all of the bullets out, but then your gun overheats and then they sh you shoot very slowly and then you have to let go of the shooting button and let the gun cool down or something. I'm not happy with that decision. I don't think that that brings a lot to the table. Um, the problem is like, yeah, sure, it gives, it's another skill test, so to speak. You, you have to manage your gun's heat, right? Um, but the problem is like you're putting one hell of a, a fun police on the game. Like the core mechanic of your game suddenly becomes this precious resource that you have to fight over uh, and it just puts like a lot of sand into the gears of that should be spinning freely you know and so here i feel uh, putting this this shooting mechanic where you have to manage the heat of the gun actually takes away from the the shoot them up stuff and i felt a lot of the enemies were also centered around this where the threat was more just to do enough damage before they left the screen, right? They were very bullet spongy and then they soaked up a lot of damage and it, you had to like, figure out a way of killing them before it's too late, uh, before you don't have any chance anymore to shoot at them. So that felt a bit, <clears throat> I think it would be more interesting to have challenges around, you know, dodging bullets, avoiding attacks, being in the right position and less about, you know, just shooting at, this, at the target over and over again. I really like, the fact that you could continue from the last wave, I think that was smart because the game is quite slow paced. So if I had to start from the beginning, I would be like, oh, I also like that the, there were there were clouds and there was power ups in the clouds and it was fun flying through the clouds and the clouds uh, dissipating. There's a lot of really cool ideas here with I, which I think would could use another iteration run when it comes to the core game mechanics. But otherwise, this is incredible. All right, next one is Orange Shooter by Angelo Dante, which is, uh, again, one of the people hanging out in the Discord and, of course, one of the supporters uh, on Coffee. So I'm really happy to play that. I already saw some of the screenshots while he was working on this. He asked me for, for some advice. And I can already tell you also a little secret. 
that this game is kind of like also inspired by a mock-up I made for phase two of the Shrub tutorial, which we're gonna talk about sometime later. Right, some nice music. Oh yeah. Was that was that was that a sound synthesis? Oh yeah. I believe I can fly. <laughs> oh, oh, the stars are pickups. I get it. Oh no! Oh, ooh! dodging. <laughs> to be or not to be. Oh, the levels have names. Is that true? The levels have. Ah, <laughs> that's so good. The waves have names. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh man, the, the enemy behavior is amazing. Very complex. Oh man, oof. Oh, that's that's real bullet hell right there, baby. Halfway through, hey! Oh, there's a bomb actually. Yes! Oh, the bomb is just 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 a regular spread shot. I got it. Oh, I, uh, and picking up the power ups feels really nice. It feels like uh, you have to stop shooting and then they uh, you suck and oh, oh, that was an auto bomb. Holy crap! No, no, I didn't actually trigger the bomb. That was the bomb. Like like a bullet hell. <laughs> That's what I said. I mean, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh. oh yes, level eight. More enemies. Okay, no <laughs> less enemies, please. Actually, I don't mind the enemies. I don't like the enemies. I don't... But also, <laughs> I want to survive. <laughs> oh, look at those patterns. Oh yes, baby. Oh, dang! What are the beetles doing? Oh man! Oof! When you sh when you're shooting, you're slower. That's interesting. Can you? Can you? No, you cannot. Oh wait! There's a second. Sh th that wasn't a bomb. That's just like a sh second shot you have. That's interesting. Yeah. So you have like a for the focus shot. Oh yeah. There we go. And you have a second shot. Oh, wait a minute. So is it like pressing two buttons at the same time will trigger the, 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 the bomb? Is that how it works? I'm gonna try that in a second. Final boss. Oh, it's a spider, obviously. The most annoying of all bugs. Oh, that was a bomb. Oh, I think I have on my last life now. My gosh, that's amazing! I have to try again. All right, all right. Second at of the boss. Let's do this. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this. I'm gonna get you. Oh no, he got me. Oh, well, that was. I only had one life. All right, all right, third attempt on the boss. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this, we can do this. There's no reason why we cannot win this boss. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What, how, how is this do happening? Oh no. I, why did I stop shooting? Why, what's with the, bringing in enemies while there's a boss happening? What, why would you do this? Why does everybody do this? Can't we just have normal boss fights? Oh my gosh. Look, did you see this? Did you see this? I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Oh my gosh. What an erratic... Oh, what the heck? No! I still don't know why this heck keeps happening. Yeah! <laughs> do, do, do! Oh wait, I this I, I have to say I had a lot of fun playing this game as you noticed. It's a good game. What can I say? Uh, I think Angelo Dante clearly is somebody who knows how bullet hell shmups works uh, work and it's still a bit rough around the edges, I think, but generally the entire game works. Um, there's a huge enemy variety and the enemy enemies have different designs. That's great. Um, it felt also like the different waves had different characteristics, different challenges. Um, the enemies had very complex 
attack patterns, very complex bullet patterns, movement patterns. That was amazing. Um, also, I have to admit, like, okay, this this the design, like the ship design and the, the flying over like a desert background, that's a um, uh, concept art I created for next phase of the shmup. We're going to see that in one of the future videos. But um, yeah, he, uh, Angelo just took that and, and turned it into a shmup, which I'm really happy for because I probably won't be doing this. Um, wow, is there anything I didn't like about this? Yeah, I um, I have to say, um, I still don't understand the bomb. Uh, it seems like there's some auto bomb going on when you get hit. Sometimes there's an explosion, I think, and there is bomb symbols appearing in the top right corner, but I don't understand how and when and how that happens. Uh, in the manual on the website didn't say anything about that. So I would have wanted to have more information about that. But man, otherwise, there is just, it's just a really fun game. It's good, and the boss fight is epic. And yeah, of course, it has a combination of small enemies and boss enemies, but it's fine, it works. I think it works in this case because it's not too many normal enemies. It, it felt really epic. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just blown away. This, is, this was amazing. All right, next one is the first Galupa dupe invasion by the Gecko, which is also one of my supporters. And of course, hanging out in the in the Discord, and I already seen this. I already seen some some animated gifs of it, and there is one feature about this that uh, that is really <laughs> it's gonna be really fun. We're gonna see how that works out. Let's do this. Okay. Wow. Out out of gum. Harden up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nope, there is no easy mode. There's just normal. That's good. Oh, I, I, I like the animations on the start screen. That's good. I, I love the Galupa dupes going through the, through the... That's 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 nice attention to detail. <laughs> it's good. But also don't don't dunk on people that they want to play easy mode. Wow, look at how the enemies are flying. <laughs> look at the gore. Look at the gore. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This, this makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, I still love the sound effects. <laughs> they're so... They're so... Oh. Come on. Payback. <laughs> this is how much payback we did. The score is payback. Ah, oh, I, I love the, the way the enemies animate in. I think that's... Wow. I think that looks really nice. Um, I, I'm actually jealous of that. I should have... I should have done that for... Was that red bit there? That was that a power up? Whoa! You can send a missile. Let's try to send some missiles. <laughs> stay together. Oh wow! Why stay together? Oh Jeebus! Oh my gosh! It's it's those enemies. <laughs> It's the Midas enemy design! <laughs> Again, hoisted by my own petard! <laughs> oh yeah, I got, I got something. Metal you. What is metal you? Oh, look, look! Oh, strategic dis problems here. Oh, but it's okay, it's working. <sighs> Wave 4, here we go. Man, this looks so good. I, I, the gore here, it makes so much difference. Oh man, this is not good. Ah, oh, no, I, there's no way I'm, I'm not good. I'm, I'm just kind of going to try it again. Right, so it, apparently there's like some missiles that you can play. Oh, now the music stopped. Interesting. So that's a bit of a bug, I think. So apparently there's a... Um, there is a... There's missiles. That you slowly recharge and you can shoot them out and then they explode. Oh, yeah. Baby. Ah, oh, man. I'm getting hit too much. How many waves are there? Okay, you need to watch out for the for the bad guys here. Ah! Metal up. I've metaled up. Is that just a life up, basically? Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> when you die, what? <laughs> It just oh man, the shooting frequency is intense here. <laughs> oh, the reds, the red are just like red stars in the background. Just use some of my rockets, recharging so fast. Man, what are these? The pink ones? Wow! Oh, the pink ones go back. I have to actually shoot them down. Oh my gosh. That's a really cool enemy design. What? Ah, oh, it's the big Galoopa Doop. Is that the bad guy? Is that the Uber? Let's just shoot all of the missiles at him. <laughs> oh, I, he just died. Okay, was that it? I just need to kill the other one, guys, and then that's that was the boss. That was the boss fight. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Oh wow. I think I need to kill, kill the pink ones. Oh, there's more waves. I thought that was the final boss. <laughs> oh, I need to get that metal. Oh, metal is life, basically. Oh no. Mm. Ah, come on! Fine, I'm gonna try a third time. Alright, alright. I defeated the, the mid boss. Let's see how far I can get now. Man, this is get th this screen is getting crowded. <laughs> baby, let's go. <laughs> oh man. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I was I was I was flying too close to the to the sun. No, this is ooh. Oh, this is a serious game. Come on, man. I don't even how is every game such a smash it? I love it. This is um Oh man, this feels this feels like so much more um, like gnarly and a more refined version of Cherry Bomb. I, I'm kind of blown away by this. I kind of I love how the enemies have like more personality because now they're like these, these gnarly aliens, and they all have different designs and they feel different as well. And there's obviously designs that we had pre previously in a in a tutorial, but also there's whole new designs. The pink one I really liked. Uh, this this feels cool and of course, obviously gore brings just so much to the game. It just makes it feel um, the game feels so much more naughty to some extent, uh, uh, so much more underground. <laughs> I, I it feels it feels like it's such a throwback playing this and it plays very well. Like it's it's fun to play it. It fun it's fun to make the game enemies explode. Like the actual activity of playing the game is fun, which is when now that I'm died a bunch of times, I don't mind just playing it over and over again until I get to the end. I'm pretty sure I will. I will do. I will make it uh, eventually. As it's it's fun. Uh, again, uh, we see uh, pickups are being now just power ups. Like I think there's yeah, there's just one pickup and that's the metal up pickup, which is okay. I will say that um, the rockets, like the bomb system here, it has again the problem that we had in the game with Cthulhu, where it takes a while for the bomb to land, and that delay makes the bomb less useful uh, or, or, and less fun to use, I have to say. Um, so I, I don't know, that, that feels, I, I understand why you don't you, you want to make maybe, you, you don't want to encourage people to just spamming it maybe. I don't know, it just, it feels, it also like, 
the problem is like you want to maybe shoot the bomb into like a group of enemies, but if then an enemy from the group launches, which you sometimes have no control over, then the bomb explodes somewhere down at, uh, at the screen, not so, somewhere up. Mm, that's something I would maybe maybe think about. But man, no, this is this is this is a blast of a game. This is just a good Pico 8 game. I just would just play that as a Pico 8 game, like without any ah. How is every game so good in this in this? Ah, oh, this is the gecko. That was amazing. Next up, Galaxis, which, again, not a very, it's better than shmup as names go, but uh, pretty straightforward, a pretty classic name for a shmup, I would say. The, the game's website was nice. Ooh, I, like, I like being able to control, I like being able to control my ship on the start screen, it's nice. Oh, you can test the controls. Ooh, look at those missiles! Oh yeah, baby! Fly ahead to begin mission. It would be nice if it was maybe... Oh, that feels good! Oh yeah. Freaky yellow... Ah. Oh. Is that... Is that power-ups? It's power-ups. Enemies feel a bit bullet spongy. Oh, but look at the transition. That's also a nice transition. Different enemies now. Do they actually feel different now? Oh, yeah, they attack. Their attacks are stronger. More vicious. Oh, what is this? What is this? Let's pick it. Heart. Look, I have, I have a power level. What does the power level say? Oh, I, I have now... Oh, that's maybe how strong my shot is, huh? I have lives at the bottom left corner, but there's also something in the upper right corner. Oh, that's probably my rockets, right? Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, I won the game. I oh, what? It goes away? No! So disappointing. Why would you take it away from me? Why would you give me the power, but then take it away from me? Oh, uh, there goes that design again. <laughs> I hate you. I hate myself for inventing this this, this enemy design. I also, like the acceleration happening here is vicious. There's a specially vicious version of that enemy. So wait, so I just pick up the pickups and then that will give me the spreadshot for a second and then we're back to zero? That's that's, that's a weird power-up system. Oh yeah, baby! That's an interesting but also weird system. Because it's difficult to control when you get the spreadshot, right? Oh man, look, everything is yellow and, and green. Very consistent visual uh, visual language. I appreciate that. Okay, okay. We have seven out of nine. We're gonna see the boss, maybe? Can we see the boss? Can we make it so? I'm shocked how many opportunities I have to get a, a, a bomb. Whoa! Look at that enemy! Ho 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 ho! Okay, gotta kill that one first, I see. Eight out of nine. And on my last life. Yeah, let's get some explosions in here. Oh, okay, here the here are the mantis looking like enemies. We get to get rid of those. Okay, and then here's some two, oh, some more of those here, and here as well. Just eliminating all the big threats, and now we're just down to the basics. That's good. Means at least we're gonna see the final boss. What? There's no final boss, it's just another wave, or is the boss coming afterwards? Oh man, oh no, that's not what I expected at all. Oh no! What's that? Oh, ooh, ooh, 
Look at this. Uh, complicated, complicated high school system. I like that. Let's try it again. That's such a nice transition. All right, back at wave eight of nine with full lives. That shouldn't. We should. We should be able to get through to the final wave now, right? Uh oh. Except when we get this guy happening. Something I noticed that is really amazing is that the enemies, when they leave off screen um, at the bottom, they will then return. And I think that's an interesting choice. That's a uh, Nice attention to detail that makes you feel uh, like you're earning the waves. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't happening. I was too close to the... Oh, okay. So the, the, the problem is like they're returning and it seems like they're returning with full, full health. I'm not sure. Anyway, final wave. Yeah, I have, I have those guys, so I'm going to use them. Oh, even more. Let's use more. Oh, I hate those rockets. Why do they do this? Why do everybody has the bomb on the rocket? <laughs> That's so bad. Uh... I hit those guys too. Uh, no, no bombs anymore. We're in it for it. All right, get the bomb. <laughs> oh, there is a bus after all. I shouldn't have used the bomb. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Okay, that's a that's a fam Oh, wait a minute. Haha! <laughs> Using the fact that there's. Oh, that's smart. Oh, great. I have now the spread shot when the enemy is behind me. That's so good. So good. I, I enjoy that a lot. <laughs> okay, that's that's a pe pattern I'm familiar with. That's a, that's okay. That was actually a smart choice to make the bullets look like power ups, so you can pull this off. Feels like like a payoff. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you win. That's good. Oh, that's, now now it's time to put in my high score. 80,000 is my high score. Okay, so what did we think about this game? I loved it. I think it's a really nice polished version of the tutorial thing. It's just taking everything that we did in the tutorial and just like cranking everything to the max, adding the polishing touch touches. I love that all the enemies have their have a consistent visual style. They're maybe not quite as varied as, for example, in a glooper dop kind of thing because um, they all use the same color palette. So it's just by the shape that you recognize them, but they have distinct behavior and there is different enemies that we didn't cover in the, in the, in the shmup, um, very unique kinds of enemies that we didn't cover in the shmup. I like that. I felt also it was a good balance. It took me a couple of attempts to get to the, to the final boss. And, but the final boss at the end, okay, it felt very familiar because it had this, uh, similar attacks that my boss had, but it didn't feel unfair or anything. A common thing I said before is that I don't like the bombs that, that take a while to get to where they're supposed to be and they, where they can maybe be intercepted by something. We said had that before in a second where I launched a bomb and I wanted to, to explode in the center where the, all the enemies are, but it hit some other enemy and then exploded down there in, on the screen where it didn't uh, do any splash damage. That felt like a waste a little bit and that, that, that felt unfair. Like I didn't, like I, I didn't feel like it was my fault. There is one aspect that I want to mention, which I heard from, uh, uh, I think I heard it in the Eggplant podcast show. Uh, they talked about uh, quality that certain games have that I wanted, to, that I'm always thinking about ever since I heard it, and that is generosity. How generous a game is. How much, you know, you have to fight for scraps when you're, when you're, when you're playing the game, or how much, the, or how much the games actually, you know, reach out to you and, and shower you with, with, goodies and so forth. 
And I feel like this game could use just a little bit more generosity, just a little bit more, because it feels like, for example, the power-ups, it's nice to pick up all the power-ups, but it takes a long time until you get the spread shot. And then when you get the spread shot, it's just for a short amount of time. Uh, and then also uh, that whole power-up system makes it so that you cannot really time when you get the spread shot. So sometimes you get a spread shot at a time where you cannot really use it, so it feels wasted. But you've been collecting power-ups for you know multiple waves to get there in the first place, so it feels like, uh, uh Same with, with bombs. Bombs felt like didn't drop as often as maybe they should have. Uh, and quite often they, they felt wasted. And enemies were just a tiny bit too spongy, just a tiny bit, just felt, felt a bit tedious playing it sometimes. So, but these are just like really subtle, subtle things that I picked up on that I would maybe try to work on. Just make it feel sometimes that, that you, let's, let the, let the Wookiee win every now and then, so to speak, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like, let, let, let people have their way every now and then to, uh, to keep them hooked. Uh, but no, otherwise, I, I had fun playing the game. It's, it's, again, why are all those games so good? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, I also have to say, I... I did especially also enjoy the menu screen. That was amazing. And then also the high score list when you type in your name, that was that took a lot of effort to put the, those things in. And that I think that paid off very, very well. Mr. Wizards 01, well done. Next up, it's Space Lemon by Lemtopia. Uh, let's try this. Sour versus sweet. All right. Oh, I, I think, did I play it before? I think I did. Yeah, so it's a yellow. It's a yellow. Um, it's very close to the to the design of the, of the uh, schmuck, of the tutorial schmuck, of the ch uh, cherry bomb. But the enemies are, um, the enemies are sweets. Enemies don't do much, I have to say. I do like the uh, sprite for the for the bullet. That's that's a really nice looking sprite. Final wave. Already! Already! It feels like we've barely just begun. Congrats! Wow, that was a very, very short map. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's fine to have a you know a short experience every now and then. I think Lentopia also, I, they might have submitted the second game as well. So maybe we're gonna come back to this later on. Looking at this game, it seems like a very by the numbers um, result of following the tutorial, um, just you know doing the basics and so forth. Um, something I'm I've like looking just like broadly uh, something I I wish there there was a more of an impact uh, effect when when my bullets hit enemies. And of course, it's a very, very short shmup. In, in the tutorial, we had 10 waves or nine waves, but that already felt pretty pretty, pretty short. Three waves was, was really, really short, and the three waves didn't even feel distinct from each other. So something I would do next is actually try to make um, enemy types that do something that, that feel engaged the player in different ways and make the different enemies and the different waves feel different, so you actually feel like you're progressing through the game, not just repeating the same level over and over again. This one didn't blow me away like the others did, but I thought still that it was pretty solid. Next one is Star Soccer. Now that's a game, <laughs> that's a name game if I ever heard one. Star Soccer, yes please. Uh, yeah, that looks good, They're very, very simple, but, but you know, functional. Something that I noticed with a lot of the um, um, previous uh, websites as well, you guys gotta put the name of the game on top. I mean, I, I see that it says here in the in the preview window, but I think it's it's a good idea to put it on the website as well. Um, yeah, from J-Pop. Okay, let's see. Ah, I, I know that that music. Ah, oh, it's I also I like the that animation. An eight-foot architect joint. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, we, we are familiar with those sounds. Oh yeah, baby! Cherries as well, but different cherries. There are different designs of cherries. Yeah, baby! Yeah, this, this feels very, very cherry. Uh, uh, cherry bumpy. Like. Which is, uh, I mean, I like that game. <laughs> 
<laughs> I like that game. I like the guy who made that game. <laughs> so I don't. I'm not complaining. What is the number on top? Is that like a like, countdown or something? No, it goes up. Is that points? Is that how, how many points? What are the numbers at the bottom? What are these? What are? What is all this stuff? Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that one up? How many lives do I have in this game? Holy crap! Is that how many lives I have? That's way too many lives. Ah! Oh yeah, baby! Oh man, these are some really annoying sniper shots, huh? Oh, I actually did, didn't do any any bombs. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Woo! What is the percentage number? Is that, is that how, how many enemies I killed? Whatever the percentage number is, I have 60 to 63 of that. Oh, Beavis. Ah! I'm gonna lose all of those lives, huh? Wave 7. Got it. So, that's, by the way, the, the score is, is an, an amazing font. I wonder if that's a custom font or something? Or using... Ah, oh, Jesus! I'm losing all of my lives! I said I had was too many lives, but now I'm running out? Of course, it's all this one game. Why are different colored enemies behaving the same way? That's that's weird. Go over here. Wave eight. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we got this. Almost finished. Bam! Wave nine. Oh, there are some big boys. Ah, fudge! I didn't want to do that. Oh, that was. The, I have to say, the bombs don't feel that great. I always complain about the bombs. Probably would complain about my own bombs as well. Wave 10? How many waves? How many waves? Get away, you space lobster. Okay, high score. Oh, it didn't tell me the high score. What, what is the high score? It says 2745. That's my high score. I'm gonna do one more attempt. All right, wave 11. I we, we, we're back where we started. Some more lives now, but... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now the enemies are coming from the sides. Oh, gosh, I hate those. <laughs> Why did I invent this enemy design? <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. You guys know I love it. Alright, that was... I think now we just need to survive until the end. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Wave 12. Oh, Jeebus, just lobsters. Ah, uh, this is bad. Yeah, they're too spawned. What? What? That was it? No boss? That was the boss, the busters, the, the lobsters were the boss, I guess, huh? Uh, would you want to save? Yes. Oh, wait. Uh, was that? That was, I would press the wrong button. Uh, see? Ah, uh, that, that bugs me. 
I think it should be more forgiving in this in this because you the buttons are not clearly labeled, so you sometimes press the wrong button. Yeah, Star Sucker. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was again one a very very solid implementation of the of the tutorial with some added elements, not drawing too far outside of the lines, like kind of like staying like firmly where the um, where the original tutorial was, but just like adding its own spin to it. Very unique designs, monster designs, more like space invadery. Uh, uh, adding, you know, UI styling that kind of like has its own vibes. I think that 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 was fun. Something that I was struggling with a little bit, uh, I know that I had designed a bunch of enemies and, and it seems like this game had a lot more sprites, but I wasn't able to tell which enemy was doing what, not, not exactly. I Obviously lobsters were lobsters, but with the smaller enemies I wasn't really sure which enemy was doing what. It seems like the enemies were um, palette swapped, sometimes enemies had different colors, um, but I didn't quite see like a difference in with their behavior depending on the colors and the shapes were the difference in the shapes were too subtle for me to to catch which which enemy was doing so maybe that's something i would work on in the future like making enemies that are distinct and and have a more of a personality rather than just being like um, different type of space invader you know but yeah i think that was a really really nice solid overall package i liked it next up shim down by Gokhan, Gokhan. Man, this looks this looks proper old school. Oh baby, wait, there is a Lexa Luffle card. Maybe I should go there. Ah, whatever. What is happening here? What is this? Okay, so I can fire and I can flip. Bienvenue! What? What, what am I even? Uh, oh, I'm... I, what? Oh, uh, uh, okay, I'm this guy. I thought I was the ships. Oh, I'm the space invader, huh? Bossa Nova. What? Now I'm at the bottom? Why? <laughs> Rank and file. Woo! Oh. That's... Whoa! The shmup changes directions! Whoa, what a gimmick! <laughs> oh, what now? Oh, I can flip! <laughs> That's what the flipping is for! Oh, what? Okay. That's certainly. What? Different enemies. Ooh, they, they, feel, they feel fierce. Wow, this looks really. I love the like the rainbow effects on the on the shots. Looks super nice. Thick and fast. What are the squares? Squares are just like, 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 scan fodder. Hex egg, yeah, gets wrecked. Hex egg. Oh, uh, you have to tap the button. I don't like that. What? There's things that. What? Why? Why am I have a shield? What's happening? Heart puppetry. Spinny Ginny. I'm so concentrated right now. Oh man, there, I, there was a power up. I, I didn't. I don't quite recognize power ups. And their powers are really fast. I think your power-up should be a bit slower than your ship, so you have the chance to- Oh, ho, ho, baby! Come get some! That's right, baby, Sus. What? I lose my power-ups at the end of the level? That's unfair! Ha! 
how unfair that the power up falls away from me. Why would they? Do, why would power ups do that? Why would they do that? Why do? What do we program power ups to do that? Feels like a mistake. OMG! The enemies are really interesting. They're uh, the the red ones, the spinny red ones, are kind of tough to hit. Ah, oh, I got hit! Oh man, you have to restart the entire wave when you get hit. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Why would... why? That's so unfair! Okay, au revoir. Okay, is that, a, is that the final level? Is that the final level? Bienvenue and au revoir? Oh, I'm gonna get, get me those triple shots. Oh yeah! Oh wow, that was intense. Game over, well done! Ha ha ha! Baby! No, I like this. This was fun, this was fun. This was a very different type of shmup. Um, not what I expected. Um, not using any sprites at all, just using vector animations, but actually putting them to good use. Like, if you're gonna use vector animations, then why are you gonna do this? Well, obviously to also have some kind of retro vibes. But also, the flipping direction, that was really fun. Uh, it was more of a surprise at the beginning, and later on I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, only complaint I have is like the power-ups are really fun, and I want to use them, but quite often I was on the wrong side, and that felt a bit unfair. I, I think it would have been nicer if the power-ups would just stay where they are, so you can pick them up. And then maybe they blink away, you know, so that's like, oh, I have to hurry up and get there, you know. But not necessarily... Uh, fly away from the screen. I think that that's that might, that's a bit of a poor decision. I think. But otherwise, man, wow, that was a, that was a quite an experience, quite unusual, uh, very retro feeling. It, uh, like I, I like the, the the little details how there was like this rainbowing happening, rainbow effect happening on the shots and so forth. So it felt like the kind of artifacts that we would get on those old uh, vector displays. It felt it, it felt like really nailing the, the the look and feel of those vector displays of the you know of like games like. Asteroids. So, so that's something I really appreciate. No, this was this was fun. I, I had a blast playing this. It, yeah, this is this is this is a good shmup. All right, it's time. It's time to play Louis Chapman's Warwind. Ah, yeah. Look at this beautiful, beautiful itch website. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? How awesome this looks. How how you have the the clouds here and the screenshots look as if they're peeking through the clouds or a gap in the clouds. It's amazing. I would prefer it if the if there was an animated it gifts in the in the screenshots, but otherwise, this is incredible. This is incredible. I heard about a lot about this game. I saw a lot of gifts. I have not played any of this. Let's jump in. I heard it's it's like if, uh, it's something you need to pay attention to is uh, you want to have. There is a way of, of changing the color of the buttons, and I think in this case it, it should have been done. Uh, but I know it's difficult to tweak this. All right. Color, oh, you, can, you can change the color. Ooh, which color? Uh, gonna go with pink. With credits. Uh, yeah, baby. All right. Oh, multi-card. Okay, so there's dodging with this button. This button does dodging. Oh, shooting has, has a quite a recoil. Inner Barwick. Out of Barwick, let's go to Inner Barwick. Okay, wow. Okay. 
What is this? <gasps> Lenny, a basic ship? Charlotte. It's a miracle display. It's equipped with a simple dash and a single cannon. Wait, what are we playing? We're playing Len Lenny. Simple but effective. We're equipped with a simple dash and a dual cannon. Oh yeah, and so now I'm, I'm shooting faster, I guess. I really love the visual design with the really, really thick outlines. Oh, man. The fact that your gun has recoil is so weird. So at the bottom there's some kind of map. Unterstadeln. What if I just don't go there? Can I just go straight? Oh, look at this guy. Oh! So this is interesting. This kind of has like a similar mechanic that we had previously in uh, Air Raid Commander, where um, you have a mechanic that dis discourages you from keeping the button pressed. But I think this feels more natural because it's just like the recoil that does it. And so you don't want to keep shooting, obviously, but also it's it's not you can shoot it just like it will have consequences that you might not like oh so it just loops through interesting so if you stay in a level it just loops through um, but there's like two exits oh, i'm gonna keep this guy nope no not interested come on so i heard about this already that it's kind of like um Metroidvania shmup. So basically you can go through, uh, there's tiny little levels and you can go from one level to another with those um, with those points where you can switch to one level to another and you kind of have to go through this world and explore it, kind of navigate a world instead of just going through a level. So let's go to Unterstadeln. Okay, Unterstadeln is really small. There's there's nothing happening in Unterstadeln. Wait, you can go through. I'm gonna stay. You can go to Oberstadeln, obviously. What if I go through? Ah, there's some enemies here. Uh, I think the screen check is a bit extreme. Okay, in a bar week, we already were there. All right, let's go, let's go to Oberstaden. Whoa, it's all dark and everything. Whoa, I don't even see my shots. That's amazing. I don't even see enemy shots. What the heck? Oh, I guess I need to upgrade my, my, my. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this was like a checkpoint. Was it? No. Because I still, I don't know. Oh, that was, that's a slow ship. It feels like a slow ship. I almost regret have using it. So where do I go now? I guess we're not going to go to Unterstadeln because that was a dead end. I guess I need some kind of upgrade to see the shots. Nope, I'm gonna stay here. Um, I have to say, uh, right from the bat, is something that I've, I've seen with a lot of schmas today is um, uh, inertia. I haven't talked about this at all uh, in the schmap tutorial, I think, but I can already tell you that a lot of schmap players hate inertia. So when I press the button and let go, then there is it, it takes a while for the um, ship to stop, and people hate that. Why am I always being asked to change the ship? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, there's a boss there.
this could use some some nice music. I have to say. Get in touch with. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna stay here. We can go to Braddon, and we are in Bardney. I want to see the boss. Give me the boss. Okay, what now? Okay, I'm here again. I'm gonna take actually this this the Charlotte ship was really bad. It felt bad. Well on the other hand now that I'm flying this ship, it's not, not much better. Again, no. Okay, I'm gonna try Magnus for this one. Oh, that felt like a country Dutch between the the bullets. Uh, I'm not sure, really sure where the hitbox is with the ships. Hmm. There's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of downtime, downtime in this game, and that really takes the air out. Okay, I'm gonna try to defeat this boss and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits afterwards. Alright, here we go, here comes that boss again. Do we have any boss indicator how how far we are? No, we don't have any boss indicator. So maybe we will be here for a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, what the uh the, the inertia is makes it really I, I now I'm becoming one of those guys. <laughs> the inertia makes the bullet hell part of it is makes it really tedious. I guess all the ships are identical. I, I don't like the, the sh shooting frequency is, is not much different. Oh, th there's a dodge. I forgot there's a dodge. What? I, I dodged. What? Boss defeated. Oh, that was a very uh, unspectacular boss defeat. I was surprised. Okay, now I have new ship, but I cannot get it straight away, but I'm going to get it here. What is it? Olivia, stolen from an enemy fleet, equipped with low-powered rapid cannon. Okay, low-powered. Okay, yeah, that seems good. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. That was that was a jerk attack. Why would they shoot so close? Oh man, that's annoying. Okay, there's. <laughs> I'm being a bit silent here because there's a lot of things happening on the screen. Oh, and the, the screen shake is a little bit much, I have to say. I think it's good to have screen shake um, for like um, end of the boss fight, but during a fight, I think it's not that great. <laughs> just not talking at all, just being all concentrated. It's, it's funny, it, but it, the, the game is kind of all silent in general. Like it's very slow paced and silent and very meditative. Uh, I'm kind of falling asleep here a little bit. Not necessarily because it's easy, it's not. 
but um, but also it's just like there's just like this very slow paced. Okay, Neary. Let's go to Neary, I guess. I'm kind of lost. So the thing is, uh, usually Metroidvania is all about, you know, you there, you cannot get somewhere, but um, you get some upgrades, right? And then you can get through, through somewhere. But so far, I didn't have this experience here yet. I got a new ship, and that ship is clearly better. Uh, but that's not something I needed necessarily to get through. So the challenges, in fact, I'm kind of like really lost. Um, where I'm, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this quits now. There is a lot more to explore in this game, but it will just take me hours playing through this, I guess, to, to understand what's going on. Just like my preliminary impression, this is a really interesting experiment, like to try and combine Metroidvania aspects and shmup aspects. Uh, it seems like it's big. I have to really dig into it to kind of find out you know, what the overall structure is. It seems like you have to unlock new ships to get through levels, maybe, I'm not sure. I would have to like map out all the different acts and everything. I really love the visual design of it. I love that the thick out, we have the thick outlines. I think, was it Kenny? Uh, there was like the this creator who creates like these like asset packs that you can use, like free asset packs. And uh, they made like a shmup generate, like shmup sprite generator. And it had also like this thick outlines. I love it. It's, like in this case, it's like very visually distinct. You can all immediately say that ah, this is this shmup. You can recognize this shmup immediately by the visual design of the of the um, of the enemies. So this is fantastic. This is amazing. Some of the enemy patterns are really interesting. There's there's uh, there is a lot of variation at at hand here. There's a lot of different enemy attacks. This is like mm, it, this doesn't feel like something that was inspired by the shmup tutorial, right? Like the, the person who made this is is clearly an experienced developer and clearly, I don't know, maybe they watched my my basic craft tutorial, but they, they went off and did something on their own. And I'm fine with that. I'm here for it. There's um, there's just so many things that are really nice. I love this uh, stretch and squash when the when the enemies get hit. The uh, sound effects kind of sound nice. I love the, the backgrounds, how there is the, there's the clouds and the, the colors change to indicate that you're in a different place, even though it's still the same background, basically. And the little map at the bottom of the screen is also really useful. And it's generally, like, it's not like in a basic shmup tutorial, like in the in cherry, cherry Bomb, where you have the, um, you know, the Space Invader kind of style. It feels like an actual shmup, right? But I have to say, it feels more uh, as a um, game I made by an extremely talented and experienced developer. It feels uh, like a game, like a mixture of Metroidvania and shmup, but it's made by somebody who is more familiar with the Metroidvania side of it. Like somebody who played a lot of, I don't know, Dead Cells or what's the other one? The one with the bug, Hollow Knight, right? It feels more of somebody who's very familiar with that side of things and maybe not so deep into the shmup side of things because there's some basic things that shmup players hate that is like this game really, really uh, double downs on. So there's a lot of inertia. These ships feel very slow and in inertia e. Uh, and very, very floaty, and that's really not good if you want to dodge between bullets. Also, the hitbox seems really big. I'm not really sure, but it seems really big. And again, that's not something that shmup players like. They want to be able to weave between the bullets. There is the dodge, which kind of like fixes all of the problems, basically, because you can get away from every bullet just by dodging. But that's not something that usually happens in shmups. In shmups, the, the idea is to dodge between the bullets, to weave between the bullets, and not to have the easy way out, not to have the, the button that disables collision detection for a second, you know? The dash button is obviously very popular with uh, with uh, platformers, obviously. And we have the same thing that we had with the Air Raid Commander thing where the, there's a recoil when shooting, so you're in disencouraged of continuously shooting. Uh, and I don't know, I think it's a, not a good idea to do a lot of policing on things like that. I know that as game designers, we want to add uh, kind of like risk, of, kind of like, um, at payoffs to the decisions like oh you can do this but haha -ha, there's a there's a there's a problem with that you know because it adds a lot of strategic depth a lot of games are about these kind of payoffs oh will i do that but i have to deal with this you know they're having like this this, this these problems that you have to navigate balance and so forth 
But I think as game designers, we often, we sometimes add too much of those. Like we feel like this is what games are. This is some of the thing that we are struggling with when playing games. So we think that this is what all the games are. Every, every, everything you do has a caveat attached to it. So, so the game is all caveats at some point. And I think, especially when it comes to the basic game mechanics, like shooting, I think there should be no caveat. I think shooting would, should be good, <laughs> especially in a shmup, right? Same thing here. Like when you add some caveats, some problems to the shooting, then you say like the player should not be shooting. The player should be second guessing the shooting. That kind of spoils the fun of shooting. You know, no longer spraying bullets around everywhere. Um, not so bad here. I think just the recoil is not that bad, bad of an effect, but it does mess around, mess with your ability to dodge things. But that's just like my first impression. I don't know. It's a big, big game that I'm eager to explore and, and play some more in the future. Warwinds, I think, still is one of the big heavy hitters of this game jam, and I'm eager to see more of it, and I'm eager to see more of the games from this game jam. So this was the first video of the basic Schmuck Showcase review. We're gonna be back next video with some more games to see and play. See you next time around, guys. Bye-bye.